welcome to my channel um today we're going to talk about um the we're going to talk about the um devops basics so um let's understand what is a a, a devops okay so i'm going to say is that it's a set of can call it a set of practices okay that combines software development you can say like convention is that software uh, development and and IT operations That is called as a ops. That is called as a dev. So that is the basic definition of the DevOps. If anyone wants to explain, you can tell them, hey, it's a set of practices that combines both software development and IT operations. So the whole idea for this is to reduce the system development life cycle that means shorten the system systems uh, development life cycle that's sd oh, sorry okay, one second yeah. so it's called a uh, um, SDLC system development life cycle and to provide a, a continuous delivery to provide a continuous delivery with a very high software quality okay so if you under if you look at these, so the main points is it's a set of practices. Set of practices that is one, and it is includes software development two. It includes ops, which is IT operations three, and it is it reduces the the whole SDLC life cycle that is four, and the five is continuous delivery and the sixth is software quality so these this is the main six focus areas as part of the devops basics okay now now if you look at here the same thing is i think you might have seen the same uh, logo in various colors people talking about so here you could talk about here so this is kind of a um, you are doing a, a coding so you can see that here, build, code, plan, you know, release, deploy, operate, monitor, right? So test, build. So this is what it is, the, the whole workflow is like this, right? So you can see that, so this is, one part and this is another part so we have you look at the different this thing so um, so we have a a build coding planning testing the code releasing the code deployment to the production or non-production environments monitor operate that and monitor the the whole process so this is how the the devops whole life cycle this is called a, a life cycle life cycle of devops now in order to do all these things definitely we need a lot of tools right for these all different phases so let's see 
So if you look at that, you know, so we have various categories, okay, of tools to manage all those different phases, right? Because you need to perform a lot of, um, uh, you know, activities, right? So as part of the configuration management, as part of the continuous integration, you know, how to deploy access, collaboration, monitoring, and development, right? So we know that, you know, everyone first, it's, we're going to develop the code. This is the, the step one because you're trying to build some application for a for a client. So these are the different tools, the common tools in the market people will use. And once you finish the development, then it is like, you know, how exactly you're going to do the, uh, the, the configuration, the, the CI CD part, right? So CI CD part is very important. So and I know that, you know, uh, the, the most of the tools like, you know, might be, you can see that the, there is a, there is a chef, Jenkins, Puppet, Ansible, Codescape, Mesos, you know, um, I think Elastic Box. So these are the very known tools people use. Okay. But uh, I will be covering this tools topic uh, uh, separately in a different video. Okay. Now. Let's understand. Now I'll go back to the our uh, this thing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about a, a very um, you know uh, something about. Um, uh, let me first of all yeah, clear these fundraiser. Okay, now the next thing is, let's understand, you know, um, the the whole um, cultural change part, okay? So what exactly this um, DevOps will do, actually? So we're gonna say that DevOps is nothing but a, a different, it's called a, a cultural change. Right, because I'll tell you, because it's going to say that it's going to uh, transform, okay, the way, the way, um, let's say, enterprises operate, build, monitor, recover, right, in terms of development, testing, processes. So this is a very key focus areas for any DevOps, um, you know, culture shift. That's what I'm saying. So one is the how they develop, how they do the testing, and what are the business processes they will be using to achieve all these things. So this is a complete about the, the cultural change, right? So now the next thing is, um, so the, sorry, I need to, yeah. next thing is the, DevOps automation. So the biggest advantage of the uh, DevOps is, it supports consistency. Supports Reliability, it supports efficient, efficient, okay? And that's what, so this all will be achievable using various tools, okay? So we'll discuss tools 
in, in, in a separate uh, video. Now, so in order to achieve that, there's something called as a DevOps tools chain. Okay, so this is what the, the terminology they'll be using. It's nothing but you know that um, a set of tools, okay, in order to deliver development and manage of the software applications that you are trying to build right so all these set of tools fit in in various phases okay so if you talk of the phases if you talk about the phases so we have a something called as the first one is you need to plan then you need to you need to create then you need to verify then you need to build right then you will do the release or deploy right then so let me wait one second so So if you look at the um, the DevOps phases, okay. So the first thing is plan, in which you will do what exactly, which application you're trying to build. Okay, this is one. The next thing is you will plan. Then you will. Second thing is create or let's say develop you will develop that application okay and the third thing is you will verify or test right so it's kind of a, a the testing testing your um, your code and everything create this is deploy this is build now what you're gonna do is the fourth one is is nothing but you will do a, a packaging packaging is nothing but a build the next thing is release to your To your production and environment prod okay then the next thing is configure what you will configure is the monitoring all the other automation tools like you know uh, the, the the specific activities that will be including okay and the last one is monitor okay so these are the various devop phases that you should remember so one is plan one is create develop one is verify and testing build or packaging release configure monitor okay so this is how um, the whole devops uh, you know works so let me clearly tell you what exactly today we learned we learned we understood we understood you know what is devops that's nothing but dev plus ops right 
And um, the next thing is the, the DevOps, how exactly the, um, um, the the uh, enterprises uh, getting the cultural shift and we also talked about the devops phases right and we also talked about the very uh, 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 high level uh, high level you know tools okay these are the topics covered in this video so by next video will be a little bit deep we were going to talk about the um, let's say um, so we talked about the, the, now we know that we have azure devops aws gcp all those devops so in the next video let's talk about what exactly the azure devops is and what components uh, it talks about what tools and everything what is the processes and everything okay so guys, please um, subscribe to my channel for more videos and tutorials on the interactive learning. And if you have any questions, please use the comment section. I love to answer those. And uh, don't forget to click on like if you really like it. Thank you so much and have a nice day, guys.